The fifth seeded Mavericks became the lowest seeded West champion in 29 years after taking out three of the conference's top four teams. But if you watch the way Dallas played after the trade deadline, the team's postseason success shouldn't have come as a shock. Considering all the criticism they took for their roster construction around Luka Doncic, including from this guy, it's time to admit we were dead wrong about the maps. I said only three months ago that Dallas had given up too much over the years to still be this mid. It turns out team president Nico Harrison and the Mavs front office knew what they were doing. There's nothing mediocre about the newly crowned West champions. Well, then I was way off! This playoff run is no flash in the pan. Dallas went 21-9 with top seven marks on both sides of the ball to close the regular season. So how'd they do it? Well, it all starts, after Doncic of course, with Kyrie Irving. There were obvious risks associated with trading for Kyrie, but the eight-time All-Star has made those concerns seem like moot points now. Though he still hasn't cracked a 70 game mark in seven years, Irving has been much more reliable and about his business in Dallas after years of drama and upheaval in Brooklyn and Boston. Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, a first round pick, two second rounders, and an incentive laden three-year contract suddenly seems like a bargain for what Irving has provided. Kyrie has supplied Doncic's Mavs with a level of scoring, self-creation, playmaking, and all-around efficiency most teams can only dream of from their second option. Had Irving made just four more field goals this season, he would have joined the vaunted 50-40-90 club. He's also been happy to do the two-way dirty work when needed. Kyrie Irving has been the best defensive player on the Mavericks. His defense is just relentless. With a teammate in place who could finally ease the offensive burden on Doncic's shoulders, it became obvious Dallas's front office prioritized size, defensive length, and rim running in building out a supporting cast around Luka and Kyrie. You know what you want, you know what you want. After infamously tanking the end of last season to keep a top 10 protected pick, the Mavs then traded that pick in a draft night deal to acquire Derek lively. The rookie big man's presence as a lob threat is a perfect complement to Doncic's pick and roll mastery, while his playmaking ability on the short roll helps keep Dallas' offense humming when opponents blitz the team's star guards. Meanwhile, a minimum contract for Derrick Jones Jr. last summer didn't exactly raise eyebrows, but his length on the defensive end and his improved stroke from the corners have made him a valuable starter on what's now a finals team. Finally, giving up a top two protected pick in 2027 and swap rights in 2028 just to get PJ Washington and Daniel Gafford at this year's deadline seemed like the type of high risk, low reward moves Dallas couldn't afford to make. Obviously, those upgrades have turned out to be anything but incremental. Gafford has solidified the team's rim protection and teams with Lively to form a dependable platoon at center, while Washington has been a solid tertiary scorer with good defensive size and a knack for timely buckets. What all that wheeling and dealing has resulted in is a top six that can now go toe to toe with anyone. A group with an offensive floor lifted by one of the most talented backcourts in history. A defense that's now good enough to support that backcourt. And two of the game's greatest closers to navigate crunch time. There's nothing we can't do. It's also worth noting Jason Kidd's in-game and in-series adjustments. A year ago, the Mavs were a lottery team seemingly without the means required to greatly improve. Let this serve as a reminder that things are never as bleak as they appear. When you have a generational superstar like Luka Doncic, that is. Luka remains the great equalizer in this equation, but full credit to Dallas for building a perfectly fitting team around him while we were sleeping. Many of us were late to recognize it, but the truth is undeniable now. This team is legit. The best part? Every Maverick who's logged a playoff minute this spring, except Jones, is under contract for next season, and Dallas still isn't in danger of being an apron team. Heck, the Mavs are barely projected to even be a luxury tax team. Give this front office its flowers, and give me some crow to eat. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.